Gypsy moths are back, and they're not just attacking trees. The insects are bringing an itchy rash along with them. Of course, we all wanted to get outside after that long winter. Boy, but the gypsy moths are enough to send some people back inside. As Gary Broad shows us, experts say, thankfully, the allergic reactions won't last long. This is the leftover one from this weekend here. Okay. I get a little bit right there, and I get a lot on the back side of my neck right here. They're back. So all of a sudden, you feel something crawling on you. you. You flick it away, and it's one of those little those little black caterpillars. There's one right here. Pull down a branch, and there's a good chance you'll That's see a gypsy it. moth caterpillar. We didn't really think that we were going to have much of a problem. And then when it warmed up last week, you know, you're getting... 40 calls a day from all of these towns. Not only do they kill the trees, they leave quite the mark with people. Matt McCarthy will tell you. It comes down and like, it go in between your shirt. It hurts. It hurts. It's itchy. You know, it's irritating. Gypsy moth caterpillars have a histamine in their hairs causing a reaction to the skin. You know, when the wind blows in the trees and the little tiny hairs on their bodies, that can get on the grass. That reaction usually starts 8 to 12 hours after contact and it can last up to two weeks. If they come in direct contact with a gypsy moth caterpillar, that's a surefire way you're going to get kind of like a, you know, a bubbly rash. The Department of Health says there is no public health threat. Arborist Eric Taylor suggests washing your skin if you do come in contact with these gypsy moth caterpillars. Taylor also says he doesn't believe this year will be as bad as last, but did say these bugs are very unpredictable. In Natick, Gary Bro, WBZ News.